dream. You are falling, lost in the listening distance, as dark locks in. <gasps> Nightfall. Good evening. Do you know where your children are? I hope they're not in tonight's presentation. The play is called Wind Chill. Dark. I. Is somebody there? Who is it? Where? I said, is somebody there? I know you're there. I can hear you. Who are you? Are you? Are you? Please don't do that. I'm lost, and I don't know what to do. I need help. Please don't play with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Please, I'm really lost. You've got to believe me. Hi. Sorry about that. Thought I'd have a little fun. Some fun. Look, I'm lost. I don't know where I am. Maybe I can help you. I know this area. It's so cold. Look, I, I, I'm trying to find my friend's cottage, the Morans. Sheila Moran. Do you know her? It's got to be somewhere around here. Moran's. I'm afraid I never heard of them. Great! I'm in the middle of nowhere. My my car's way back there, stuck in a snowbank. Well, I've never heard of your friends, and I've been around here a long time. I'm staying at my parents' place. It's only a cabin, but it isn't too far from here. Why don't you come with me? I can put you up till morning. Oh, well, no, I I, I could I couldn't do that. You can't just keep wandering around here. It'll be dark soon. Well, I I, I don't like to impose on strangers. I don't have to be a stranger. Well, I wouldn't mind resting and getting warm. What's stopping you? Nothing. Are you sure you wouldn't mind? Why should I mind? I asked you. Okay. What else can I do? You could try freezing. <laughs> Mister, you got yourself a deal. Let's go. Oh, uh, by the way, I, I'm Sue. My name is Barry. Barry Hefferman. Hello. Do you always meet your girls like this? Never. <laughs> can I take your bag? Thanks. You are a lifesaver. I was beginning to get really worried. Don't be frightened. You're here now. I'm glad I found you. So am I. Things get really scary around here at night. You know, it's a funny thing. What? I like the night best of all. Marathons. About another half mile. Tired? Yeah. Want to carry me? Sure. Oh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger type. Hmm. Our cottage is over there by the river, just before it curves into Georgian Bay. You can't see it yet for the trees. Oh, just keep me pointed in the right direction. Hey. What is it? Look, in the snow, little footprints. I see them. A little kid. Here, and it's barefoot and alone in this cold. You're surprised to find deer around here. This is the country. Oh, come off it! Those are deer prints. Really? Well, you say so, but they sure look like a kid's footprints to me. We call them hooves. Well, you're the country boy. I guess you'd know. But they don't look right.
Home sweet home. Oh. I couldn't go another step. What, what a quaint old place. It's really hidden away. I could never find it. It's been in the family for a couple of generations. It's so dark and deserted. I didn't promise a palace. Well, come on in. The place won't bite you. Okay. Hey, I can hardly see. No electricity, right? Barry? Hmm? Well, can't we get some light? In a minute. Well, there have to be candles or oil lamps. I thought you knew, Sue. Civilization ended miles back. <gasps> oh. oh! It's dusty in here. Yeah, I don't bother cleaning in the winter. Well, it's got the atmosphere. Make yourself right at home. What's that? It's just an old rocking horse. What? What's it doing moving like that? Drafts. We opened the door, remember? Oh. Heart attack time. Sorry. I guess I'm a little worked up. Just relax. I want you to be comfortable. Hey, there are toys all over. Everywhere. It's from when I... From when we were kids. Oh, this is beautiful. A music box. Don't. Well, I love these things. They always have pretty tunes. That's enough. Hey, big boss time, eh? I'm sorry. I don't like that tune. Oh, forget it. Oh, it's so cold in here. It's as bad as outside. How can you stand it? Cold? Oh, I guess I let the fire die. I was out for a while. Come on. Let's make you a great blazing fire. Well, it doesn't have to be a big production number, you know. I thought you wanted some heat and light. The trick is getting the kindling started. Just a minute. And you'll be warm. Well, let me do something. I'm not helpless. Relax. It's all under control. Mm, suit yourself. Hey, hey, would you like a sandwich? I got a couple here. Uh, no, thanks. I had something before. It's too bad all girls aren't as friendly as you. <laughs> really? Uh, I guess I'm the extrovert type. I've always liked people. Oh, and speaking of people, my friends must be worrying about me. I, I wish I could get in touch with them. I, I know you won't have a phone or anything, but... Is there any way... Well, why worry about them? You'll see them tomorrow. I thought you weren't the helpless type. <laughs> it's funny, you know, this was going to be a quiet weekend retreat. No guys, just work. There. Fire's going to go now. Oh, that's great. Well, you see, I, I, I got this essay to write for one of my psychology courses. I wanted a nice, quiet spot. Where... This is a nice, quiet spot. Why not work here? I can vanish. Well, maybe. You must get real lonely up here on your own. I don't notice it. And now you're here. Oh, the fire is beautiful. What's that? Where... Those logs burn for a long time. You hear all sorts of things up here. You know how cats cry in the city? There are bigger cats in the woods. Well, I'm the original city girl with a vengeance. I've never been up north in the winter. God, I feel like a, a city hick. Oh, no, Sue. You'll come to love it here. Wait. You'll see. got too much more coffee left in this thermos. Are you sure? The coffee keeps me from sleeping. Maybe I should Well, try. you can't leave tonight. It's impossible. I mean, it, it gets very dark here, and it must be way below freezing. Up here at night, it's dangerous to be walking around. Well, yeah, but... Uh, I mean, where will I sleep? There's almost no furniture. Are there any... No. My parents cleared the place years ago, and they've never been back. I never need much. There's a sleeping bag somewhere. Oh, I can't take your sleeping bag off you. Oh, you won't. Oh. So, you uh, come up every weekend? I love... Listen, if I stay and... and I don't know, i got to get... 
time. Hey, you know what the subject is of my paper? Tell me. Aspects of sibling rivalry. <laughs> can you believe it? Hey, uh, maybe you can help me. Be a test case. Did you have a big family? One brother. Well, that's the start of it all. How'd you get on with him? I don't. Sorry? Uh, something happened. Yeah? One summer, uh, he was seven, younger than me. One summer, we went swimming. That river's great. It's very clean, very clear water. It's deep, too. You mean he... He drowned. Oh. I'm sorry. That's awful for you. Poor kid. That's why my parents don't come up here anymore. Memories, you know. My God. It's just a little walkie toy. It's one of his. See how it rattles? But did it have to fall on cue? Well, I told you. It's... I know. Uh, drafts. Barry. Hmm? It came right to me. You're popular here. Mm. It's nice and warm now. There's something about a fireplace. Hypnotic, hmm? Yeah. Hey, I got a treat for us in my bag. Guess what? I couldn't possibly guess. <laughs> A joint. What's that? Are you kidding me? No. Where have you been for the last ten years? Grass. I told you I wasn't hungry. You aren't joking. Is this for real? I went to a boys' school. I didn't have much to do with... Grass and girls. <laughs> are you sure you aren't a priest? But I know... I know about women. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Have, um, you been alone here before? With a girl? Yes. Yes, I have. Well, that's nice. I like the way you look now with the light on your face. Thanks. You're very beautiful. Barry, the crying thing. It's back. It's getting hot, isn't it? Why don't you take your sweater off? I, I'm fine, except for that. It's not an animal. It's saying words. Listen. It, it's somebody's kid lost in the snow. Oh, for God's sake, let's go and look. There's nothing there. Well, if you won't, then I will. Don't. Why? Don't be silly. You can't just leave a little kid out there in the snow. Do you hear anything now? No. You sure the sound was human? No. Okay. There wasn't anything. It's you. What? You're hearing things. Noises that aren't there. The woods do that to people sometimes. I don't know. Hey, watch it. Can I hold your hand? Please? Sure, I guess so. God, I don't know what I'm hearing and what I'm not. Your hand is warm. Look, uh, Barry, I really like you, but uh, I've had some bad scenes with guys, and uh, I've only known you for a couple of hours. I don't think time is what counts. Oh, God, you're... Th and handsome. But you have to eat more. My mother'd make you wolf it down. I've always been this way. When we're back in the city, can I see you? Promise? Your hair looks red now, in the firelight. You know, this place, it's like the old curiosity shop. Everything chimes or rattles or plays. But it is pretty. What is it? The music. The music box. It's not playing. But I hear it. Don't you? I don't hear anything. You can't hear that? You're squeezing my hand. Where is it coming from? It stopped. Good. Are you playing games with me like, um, li like that man in that, that movie Gaslight? Look, I'm getting out of here. You mustn't go. You can't go. It isn't safe. <gasps> oh! 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 
soon nothing can happen to you here. You're safe with me. You're going to tell me that's an animal. I know. We have lots around here. What animal does that? I don't know. Maybe a fox. It's no fox. What can I do? Well, stop it. Just, just stop it, please. Make it stop. There. You see? See, you frightened him away. Thank God. It was an animal. Oh, thank God. I told you. Feeling better now? Yeah. Sue, there isn't anything to be afraid of. Not when you're with me. You're very nice to me, Barry. You think I'm a damn fool. I don't think that. You know how I feel. Oh, I'm getting tired. Maybe in the morning... Before I go, I, I can help you give this place a cleaning. There's no need. I'm almost out on my feet. I'll get you the sleeping bag. Thanks. I won't say no. Here we are, going right next to the fire. Oh, I'm going to look funny all curled up in there. <laughs> You'll never look funny. I feel kind of dizzy after all that. Forget no. it. It never happened. You're tired and upset because you got lost and missed your friends. You really are an unusual guy. And so many men are so insensitive. Can I lie down next to you? All right. But, um, what I said before still holds. I need my sleep. I know. I'm so glad you're here. Are you here every weekend? Mostly. I haven't done a thing on that damn essay. You could stay here forever. No more essays. Mm. Wouldn't that be great? Mm. Mm. I'm sorry. Shouldn't I have done that? One kiss. It's all right. No more. Good night. Sweet dreams. Mm. You out there. Quiet. I said, quiet. That's better. Logs. Barry? I need a match. Where the hell is it? Oh, there. Barry? He's not here. Barry, where are you? My God, the door's open. Barry, you bastard. You are playing games. You've got that music box out there. Where's my coat and boots? Oh. I'll find you out there, hiding behind a tree with your little toys. You wait till I get you. You'll wish you had seen a ghost. Then you are cruel. You hear me? Cruel. I've got snow all over me. It's so hard to see. It's blowing everywhere. Do you think you can scare me with your dinky music box? I hate that! Barry, I know you're here. Cut that out! This, this isn't happening. 
Francisco. This is a dream. I'm going to wake up in bed at home. Aren't I? Getting lost. Got to find him. Music. Where did it go? Pretty lady. Oh. Oh. Race her to the river. Please turn around. Look at me. What do you want? Come and play. Wait, you're, you're dressed for summer. Shorts and a jersey. You'll die out here. <laughs> what are you pointing at? The river. Come play in the river. Poor little thing. Oh, come here. Let me warm you. Let me hold you. God, you're drenched in water, but it's not freezing. I know what you are. You get away. For God's sake, get away. You won't play with me. I have to play alone. He just is soft in the air. <gasps> Barry? 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 Now what? Oh, my God, I never heard you coming. I've seen him. I know who he is. Know who? Your brother. Your little brother. My brother is dead. Yes. I touched him. That, that's how I know he's dead. So now you understand. Why? Why didn't you tell me? You better come back to the cottage. He can never come in. So long as I'm there. So please don't go. See, I built the fire for you again. How can I stay with that out there? How can you go with that out there? God have mercy. I swear to you, Sue, he can't come in here so long as I'm in the cabin. I don't know why that's so, but it is. But how can you come up here at all when it's haunted by your own brother? He never bothers me. And you know... Yeah? He's so very lonely. Maybe you are too. Am I? Yeah. But you seem to know more than you're saying. About my brother, you mean? What am I supposed to know? There's lots of things I don't know. But you want to know, don't you? What happened? I was supposed to be watching him. So now you still are. Stay till morning, Sue, please. Then you can go. I'll take you out in the morning. You never see him by day. Please. I'm still going to have to leave in the morning, okay? Great. Everything will be fine now. This is pretty... I know. There. Let me... Do you mind? You want to kiss me? Please. Your lips are cold. Look at me. Please. I'm at the end of my rope. The end, you know? I'm very fond of you. That's... What are you doing? Two people can sleep in this bag. You sure? I am. Okay. I guess it's one way of keeping warm. There are different ways. When does the sun come up? A long time from now. Oh. This is good. And it feels safe. Feeling better? Much better. You must have a lot of boyfriends. Well, not really. Oh, please. I like touching you. You're perfect. That's real flattery, man. I mean it. I want to leave early. I should sleep. Don't worry. Relax. You're safe here with me. Be with me. Yes. Um, go in, in... Go in the morning. Oh, 
dear, I don't know if I should wake her up. She looks so lovely sleeping there. Poor thing. She must have gotten lost out here. I wish Jack would hurry. Where is that man? Oh, dear. Be better once she gets some coffee into her. At least she had the sense to get the fire going. Uh, what? What? Morning. Who? Now, don't be frightened. I'm a friendly native. Where? I've got some nice hot coffee in this thermos. I, I don't know who you, who you are. Just take your time. Where am I? Well, you're not at home, I can tell you that. But last night... Got lost, eh? It happens. A girl like you, all by herself. I know girls like to be independent today, but... No. How did you... Get in? Yeah. I used my key. Key? Yes. This is our cottage. My husband's out looking at the foundations. He's gone. He'll be here in a minute. No. No, I mean the boy. There's a boy, too. Yes, I, I was here with a guy. I see. Who are you? Oh, sorry. Burl Hefferman. My husband and I... Well, this is our cottage. Oh! Oh, I see. We're on a little skiing jaunt and thought we'd stop by and look in at the old place. Hasn't changed much. Where's... Who? Barry. I was with Barry. With whom? Barry. Your son, Barry Hefferman. I beg your pardon. He was here with me all night. Barry. Is he outside? It isn't funny. I want to see him. We don't have a son. Then who was... Our son, Barry, drowned, trying to save his brother, 15 years ago, down there in the river. You have just heard Wind Chill by David McConaugh. Featured tonight were Elva May Hoover as Sue and Robert Haley as Barry. The ghost of the child was Hadley Kay, and Aileen Seaton played Barry's mother, Burl. Our recording engineer is John Jessup, with sound effects by Bill Robinson. The senior script editor is John Douglas, with the production assistance of Nina Callahan. Nightfall is produced and directed for CBC Radio by Bill Howard. Alone in this cold? You surprised to find deer around here? This is the country. Oh, come off it. Those are deer prints. Really? Well, you say so, but they sure look like a kid's footprints to me. We call them hooves. Well, you're the country boy. I guess you'd know. But they don't look right. Home sweet home. Oh, I couldn't go another step. What, what a quaint old place. It's really hidden away. I could never find it. It's been in the family for a couple of generations. It's so dark and deserted. I didn't promise a palace. Well, come on in. The place won't bite you. Okay. I... Is somebody there? Who is it? Where? I said, is somebody there? I know you're there. I can hear you. Who are you? Are you? Are you? Please don't do that. I'm lost. And I don't know what to do. I need help. Please don't play with me. Play with me? Play with me? Please, I'm really lost. You've got to believe me. Hi. Sorry about that. Thought I'd have a little fun. Some fun. Look, I'm lost. I don't know where I am. Maybe I can help you. I know this area. It's so cold. Look, I, I, I'm trying to find my friend's cottage. 
The Morans? Sheila Moran, do you know her? It's got to be somewhere around here. Morans? I'm afraid I never heard of them. Great! I'm in the middle of nowhere. My, my car's way back there, stuck in a snowbank. Well, I've never heard of your friends, and... You know, it's a funny thing. What? I like the night best of all. Marathons. About another half mile. Tired? Yeah. Want to carry me? Sure. Oh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger type. Hmm? Our cottage is over there by the river, just before it curves into Georgian Bay. You can't see it yet for the trees. Oh, just keep me pointed in the right direction. Hey. What is it? Look. In the snow. Little footprints. I see them. A little kid? Here? And it's barefoot and... A l I've been around here a long time. I'm staying at my parents' place. It's only a cabin, but it isn't too far from here. Why don't you come with me? I can put you up till morning. Oh, well, no. I, 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 could, I couldn't do that. You can't just keep wandering around here. It'll be dark soon. Well, I, I, I don't like to impose on strangers. I don't have to be a stranger. Well, I wouldn't mind resting and getting warm. What's stopping you? Nothing. Are you sure you wouldn't mind? Why should I mind? I asked you. Okay. What else can I do? You could try freezing. <laughs> Mister, you got yourself a deal. Let's go. Oh, uh, by the way, I, I'm Sue. My name is Barry. Barry Hefferman. Hello. Do you always meet your girls like this? Never. <laughs> can I take your bag? Thanks. You are a lifesaver. I was beginning to get really worried. Don't be frightened. You're here now. I'm glad I found you. So am I. Let's get really scary around here at night. In the dream, you are falling. Lost in the listening distance. As dark locks in. <gasps> Nightfall. Good evening. Do you know where your children are? I hope they're not in tonight's presentation. The play is called Wind Chill. Dark. <laughs> 